you guys welcome back to minute watch kurt here and this is the hamilton field khaki 38 millimeter uh model number h uh, uh blah, 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 whatever that is there right that that's it right there that's the model number and um this is a free it's a really cool piece i got this uh i didn't really want to get this but i did anyway uh, I got this for a reason, and you'll see in the next video why I got this watch. And I didn't expect to want to keep it or like it, but I do now because I freaking love this little watch, and I'll tell you why. Anyway, this is one of the the newer models with the H10 movement instead of the higher beat ETA 24-28-2 like in my other Hamilton, where did it go? Like in the black version, the slightly older black version. I have it on the Barton Elite Silicone Strap product placement, product placement. But um, yeah, so it uses the H10 movement and um, I, I'd say it's newer, but it's already a couple years old. The H10 is basically the same movement as in the Tissot Paramatic lines, uh, line of watches and others in the Swatch group in that it is derived from an ETA C07.111, which has a ETA 2428-2 base. The movement has been reduced to 21,600 BPH. And that's a wah, wah, wah situation to me because my Hamilton, the black version, is just it's just so nice and buttery smooth. They're totally out of sync, but it's just so nice and buttery smooth compared to, to this one. I'll get, I'll get more into that later. It uses 25 joules, has a power reserve of 80 hours, 80 hours of power reserve. It's massive, and that is achieved by <clears throat> the reduction of the oscillation count as well as the refining of the entire kinematic train, which helps to achieve this massive power reserve. The accuracy of this movement is also much better than its 2428-2 base. The movement is hackable. And windable. Let me just uh, no, nobody, nothing. Let me just go there, 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 there. There you go. So you pull out the crown, which is not screwed down, and it stops the movement. Push it back, and it goes again. And you can wind it. You can hear it wind. Let me just hear that wind. Very soft wind. Piece of skin on my finger just falling off. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, the screw, the screw, <laughs> screw. That's what it. That's what they should be called. Screw, uh, crowns that screw in should just be called screws. Anyway, uh, the crown does not screw in, and it is signed with that Hamilton H. Because it does not screw in, it has only a uh, res water resistance rating of of 100 meters. My voice is dying. I'm going to get a cough drop. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I <clears throat> had a little bit of a cough drop. Sucky, sucky, going on for a little while there, but. <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? I'm going to water resistance 100 meters. Still pretty good water resistance rating. Uh, you can swim, no problem. And uh, winding is easy. And it has a typical ETA click. If you listen closely, it goes, it goes wind, 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 click. Wind, 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 click. You know, whatever. The dial. The dial. Let me just get up, up close and personal here. The dial has this really slick... Uh, silver sunburst pattern in the middle pan and uh, more of a machined finish in the hour ring and the metallic silver in the chapter ring nice multi faceted silver dial and in the in the nice lighting it looks really nice was not eating Cheetos why does my finger look like it's all orangey uh, was not eating Cheetos or was I maybe I was I don't know no I wasn't so yeah, dial. Look at, look at the dial. It's, it's it's very clean. I love the second. Uh, I love the uh, not seconds. I love that. Ah, actually, I do. I love the second hand, the white tip on the seconds hand. It's a loom white tipped, tipped tip. This is a terrible review, guys. I'm sorry. I'm like I had it all focused. I had I had everything done. I had the spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentation. Got the paid the bills. OnStar. But it's just falling apart. Anyway, uh, I love the hour and minute hands because of those pointed edges. It just really gets gets you to know exactly where you're going. Especially that uh, that minute's hand is just right there, up and close. 
to the actual minute markings. The date window is kind of weird. It kind of overlaps into the center pan. I don't really care for that. Really wish this did not have a date function at all. It would be so clean, but um, it is it is nice to have a date function once in a while. I just wish it was a little bit cleaner, but not a deal breaker for me, not at all. Uh, the original version has loom on the hour, uh, hour markings and the center markings as well, the minute markings. But this one doesn't. This one has uh, loom pips on the outside only. This one also has loom pips. So it's it, this is the original version is sweet in that it's just a loom, glorious loom monster. Not super bright, but just loom everywhere. It's really nice. But this one, not so much. And that's that's okay because you don't you don't expect it to have a lot of loom because of its nature uh, of the silver dial. Anyway, the glass is a low dome sapphire crystal. Not sure if it has a, a, a an AR coating. It does do a pretty good job at keeping reflections at bay, but I'm assuming that is because of the silver dial and the way it probably deals with reflections. Um, we'll see later on. We're going to do some stuff. And the back is a most likely a mineral crystal. By the way, that is the movement, the H10 movement you can see there. Let me just get real close. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. Wow. <laughs> That's super close. All right, 25 jewels. Swissy Swiss. Got that, that stamped rotor with that cool H in there. And you can see here, let me just get there. No regulation option. You cannot uh, regulate this by itself. Um, but out of the box, it's pretty dang good. It's pretty dang good. I'm getting plus three seconds per day. With, with this movement, it's pretty darn good. Not a great looking movement, but not a terrible one either. Pretty pretty nice. Uh, what else? The case is, as you'd expect, 316L stainless steel. It is brushed throughout on the top as well as the sides, beautifully brushed. Let me just get that zoom, that zoom action yet again. And you can see my fingerprints, there you go. All right, there is that nice brushed finish. Finish. It's a really nicely done, nicely done on the top as well, and the bezel is of course polished. So pretty cool, well done. And uh, what else? Uh, the strap. The strap is really nice. I like the strap. It's one of few watches that I've received that I love the strap. Not like love the strap. It's good. It's real good. I like it. It's made very well. It has a <laughs> it has a real good smell. Like when you go to Liberty House and check out all the handbags when you're shopping with your mom. Real good smell. Love the big holes. And that's not what she said. Really nice, thick, well-made strap. Looks really good. I'll put it on my wrist later after the measurements. And uh, speaking of the measurements, oh, actually, the buckle is signed right there. Buckle is signed. Got that. Got that. Whoa! Got that action right there. Yeah. Got that Hamilton signed action right there. Really nicely done. Everything is just well done, well stitched or well enough stitched. <laughs> Super zoomy zoom up in this biatch. Okay. So let's go to get to the real quick measurements here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right. Case 38 millimeters, lug to lug 47 millimeters, lug width 20 millimeters, thickness, including the top of the crystal, 10.7 meters. And now it's time to check the loom. Check the loom, check the loom, make it glow. Check the loom, use a light, make it glow. Check the loom. Right, we're back and we're gonna test the the new Hamilton against the old Hamilton and a comparable Seiko 5 just to see uh, actually I'm gonna put this one right here 
There you go. Comparable Seiko Five, so they're right by side by side, and a baby ice monster because we want we want something to destroy everything else. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what we do. So I've already put the ISO way up. We're gonna turn off the lights. We're gonna take the tablet of justice away here, and then we're just gonna I'm just gonna do this here real quick. Cover the lens and just make sure we get lots of stuff going on here. And bingo! All right, to the left we have the old Hamilton with the 2800. Oh, 28,800 beat movement. We got the new Hamilton with the H10 movement. We got the Seiko 5, you know, the super cheap Seiko 5, and then the baby ice monster. So everything seems to be going pretty well for the new Hamilton. L look at the look at the uh, the way that the older Hamilton is just kind of fading out. Uh, but the new one has some pretty good little little dots going on there. Yeah, I like that. The dots are pretty good, and of course you see that uh, that, uh, that that loom second hand is rolling around there. It's pretty good. The Seiko Five, uh, not bad, but uh, the, I'm very surprised with this new Hamilton. It's it's holding its own really nicely. Of course, the Ice Monster just well, what are you gonna do against that thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get the lights back on here. Let's get the ISO back down to 400, and uh, let's uh, let's see what the boys have to say. All right, guys, what do you have to say? What do you think about this Hamilton Silver Dial Field Khaki 38 minute uh, uh, millimeter watch? Uh, <laughs> Um, we're getting really bored with these with these end sequences things. Yeah, we don't want to do this crap anymore. It's stupid. Yeah, it was like, uh, hey, what do you think about this watch? Wait, it's it's it looks like another piece of crap to me. You know, what are, when are you gonna get a real watch? Yeah, when are you getting a real watch? Yeah, when are you, when are you gonna get a real one like a uh, like a uh, like a uh, like a uh, like a Timex? You know, something real, something something valuable. Yeah, like a Timex or like or like one of them Armatrons. I saw your finger again. You gotta stop. You gotta stop doing that. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that. Yeah, or like one of them Armatrons. Or maybe one of them, uh, um, oh, Michael Kors, Michael Kors watches. Yeah, Michael Kors, those, that's the real deal right there. Michael Kors watches and, 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 and guess. I give up. No, 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 guess the, the, the brand, guess the brand. I have no idea what you're talking about. The brand is called Guess. It's not, not I'm not asking you. You know what, shut, shut the fuck up already. Just, just go back into your, your, your closet where you came from and just never come back out. <laughs> All right, well, guys. Uh, in conclusion, I got the I got this watch for a very specific reason, uh, which you'll see in the next video. But uh, I also got it because I kind of wanted to see the differences between this newer version and the older one that I have, the blacked out version, and uh, this and this you know discuss that. And while I love the smoother s uh, sweeping hand of the older version, let me just get real close. You can see that. There you go. You can see. I love that they just so happen to be exactly the same position in this. Not the hour, but can you see how much smoother the older version is? It's definitely smoother. But excuse me, I'm getting a little bit gassy. Despite that, despite its like Seiko Five like movement, I love that it's very accurate. I love the freaking power reserve 80 hours are you kidding me it's crazy i love that i love that, that there's a little bit more detail on the on the on the watch i love the strap i mean on the movement i love the strap everything about this watch is basically perfect to me um i don't know why i love it so much but i do and i don't think i'm going to be giving up and i got this watch for about 375 bucks put a link into the about section below that's my review and thanks for watching guys i forgot to do the wrist check there it is the wrist check and look at that would you just look at it, it looks real good it's good it's, just, it's got a it's got a low profile look and feel uh, that wrist uh, that that strap really makes me happy it's comfortable it uh, it's breaking in nicely and uh that's yeah that's the wrist check and you're so stupid you forgot the wrist check and you think I'm dumb. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. It happens. And uh, what do you think about this, Uncle Jimmy, on my wrist? I think yeah, you need to do, like, a lot more, like, a, a lot more uh, curls. Your wrist is small, man. It's, look at that. Look at that. You look like one of those, those munchkins things. Yeah, well, uh, it is what it is. 
But look at my forearm, though. Big ass forearm. Yeah, your forearm is pretty big, though. Yeah, <laughs> so, because of all the all the uh, uh because uh, that's it. I'm not gonna say anything more. That's uh, my review, and <laughs> thanks for watching.